popping up. And this ACW needs a. Uh... Is it... Oh! Hello. You snuck up on me. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Seven Days to Die Alpha 16 modded with Starvation. We are now on episode 83. So, in the last episode, guys, we started some work on uh, Escapian's library, which is uh, down in that floor there. You can actually see it from here. I'm actually on the roof of this uh, building over here, just so you guys can see uh, how the building was shaping up so far. Now, uh, the eagle eyed among you will see that a lot more work on the building has actually been done, and uh, it's pretty much built up to the roof height right now. As you can see, there's like a little uh, a roof exit there where the stairwell is. We'll go up there and I'll show you that in, a, in just a sec. However, um, I've actually had a live stream and in that we've gone ahead and done all the building work which is essentially what I'm going to be doing during live stream. So essentially um, anything that I do as a repetitive task for example will most likely be now handled in live streams and on episodes we can then go ahead and either do some exploring or we can go ahead and do some work on the city during episodes as well. So I'm going to try and keep it varied up a bit and uh, by doing live streams this way it lets you guys have some input as well uh, as well as then going uh, going ahead and keeping the episodes a little bit more varied as well. So this is the building site so far um, and that is the main amount of progress. I just thought I'd show you guys that. Uh, we've got a ton of pay bales down there as well so hopefully I won't fall and break my, uh, break my legs uh, while I'm doing all this stuff but this is pretty much everything that we've gone ahead and done so far now for you guys who didn't manage to make the live stream i've gone ahead and got a bit of a sped up version of all the uh, of all the stuff and things and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, slap it in the episode right here in the meantime what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and make my way to the traders buy and sell a few things and then i'll be right back and we can go ahead and get on with the stuff in today's episode so i hope you enjoy this sped up little live stream uh clips and i'll be right back
start to rise, see the people start to rise. Facing off with massa, workers run and hide. It's engaged, brains start to click. Tools becoming weapons, time begin to tick. Time to tip the rocker, we control the land. Put up the cyber's head, the haters start to play. Who will fight amongst us? Who will burn the blood? Trap and fire and burning, people raise their hand. Alrighty guys, I am back. So I hope you enjoyed that little cutscene from the live streams and that's pretty much what we did on some of the building stuff. So hopefully you guys like that and we're going to go ahead and continue doing some stuff uh, probably on the library section today actually. It's going to be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get started. So in my forge here I've got some nails coming out of here because we're going to need a lot of these because the one thing I want to do is go ahead and craft myself a few cool little things. So let's go ahead and grab, uh, we're going to need some leather, we need some wood um, and I was thinking we can maybe start crafting ourselves some uh, leather couch um to put up inside the library for like a reading area so that's going to require five leather uh with these 10 nails and some wood as well so yeah some couches is going to be pretty cool to have up there so let's get like uh okay i can't get that many yet probably because of the shortage of nails so luckily this forge is producing up like thousands of nails so hopefully that's gonna be all good let's see if we can get some couches done because that'd be pretty cool so let's go how many can i get so far i had 25 so far that's gonna like that's gonna take like two minutes 25. the other thing i wanted to do is maybe get some tables and desks up there as well which i think would be really cool as well so let's go ahead and get a uh let's go ahead uh get some wooden desks yeah here we go some wooden desks uh you know not too bad to get there they're pretty nice to get they just take uh 15 they actually just take 15 wood each so we don't even need nails for that either that's actually really good i thought you might need nails for that um uh, the other thing i need to do is look at uh office chairs that's the other thing i want to uh, try and get as well so they actually require cotton so we're going to need to go and do some uh do some cotton picking as well because uh, some office chairs uh for some of these things would be actually really nice as well especially for down here where we're going to actually do some of the offices i also got two more treasure maps from just killing zombies as well which is really good so we're gonna have to make sure we read those but uh yeah getting cotton is gonna be the main thing then in order to get some more office chairs so actually why don't we go out and see if we can just get some while we're out here because i think it takes uh, it's 10 cotton per office chair so it's not like super expensive but at the same time it's not the cheapest thing in the world either so we're gonna have to go and see if we can find some cotton sources now luckily in the pine forest uh cotton isn't too difficult to find so hopefully we will uh oh damn he flies uh hopefully we will find enough of it uh, like right here, there's actually a, a little source of it over here. So we'll start picking up some cotton from here. So it takes 10 per office chair, so we might have to have a way to see if we can get a lot of this at some point. Maybe actually making some cotton farms would be a good idea. If we were to make some kind of farming place in our town, which I'm sure we will eventually, but... It would seem cotton farming is probably going to be the way to go because we're going to need a lot of it. But as you can see, Pine Forest usually has uh, plenty of it on offer here, so... It's not a problem. I hear some zombies out here as well. So... Let's go and get this uh, Edgar out of the way. So you can go. And then I hear another Hawaiian dude here. Who must die? There we go. He is gone as well. Okay, so yeah, we can start getting some office chairs as well. Because that would be really nice if we can start getting... Uh, 
uh, at least at least those crafted up. I mean, we don't have to do everything now, but to get those crafted up would be really really nice. So we'll start picking a bit of cotton here. Just going out and getting some in the world would be a, would be a nice thing because um, cotton isn't too hard to find. We could also get it from wrenching stuff apart. So I may like find POIs with beds in it and stuff and start wrenching those apart as well because that's always good. We can even buy um, we can even buy cotton from certain areas too. So. That's all good. But yeah, there's lots and lots of it around this little area in particular. There's even some inside this uh, POI here. It's actually growing inside. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we can grab those. Uh, there's a bit of gold around here, but I'm not really too worried about that. Just the cotton is what I'm concerned with. So let's go ahead and grab that. Hopefully we're not going to get uh, any spiders after us, because that'd be bad. But we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll probably get some spiders after us. We'll see. So let's go ahead and grab all these guys here. Um, right, so there's also... Okay, there's an army base over here, so I don't want to get too close because there'll be landmines up on this uh, flat section. So let's go... Hopefully there's not too much cotton in this section. Actually, it might be worth a little loot uh, just to see if there's any uh, armies in there who could potentially give us some good... Actually, you know what? Yeah, so we're going to loot it. We're actually going to loot this place uh, and see if there's any good stuff here. Um, I'm not sure if I actually went in these already. If we didn't, we may as well go ahead and do it. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we did, so... In our quest for cotton, we'll also maybe find some uh, some guns and some good stuff as well. So, you know what? I say solid. Let's do it. Let's go and make our way in here. There's a tank in here as well. Which is actually a very good thing. Right, let's go ahead and have a look in here. See if there's any... Um... I think there's a sheep in here. <laughs> is there a sheep in here? Yeah, there's a sheep by the tank here. Okay, let's go and see if there's any... Let's go and see if there's any armies there. Is there anyone up here? Sometimes there's, there, uh, there are Zeds up here. Not always, but sometimes. So I don't know if you get um, cloth from... I don't know if you get cotton, at least, from this. No, you just get uh, you just get cloth fragments. That's fine. I just wanted to double-check, just in case. Uh, it might be a way to save us a little bit of time, but it doesn't let you do. Right, is there anyone in here? Nope, no one in there. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way up here. So there's a couple of gas barrels that we can sell. There's only a bear's nest up there, which I'm not too worried about. Um, so, oh, hang on, what was that? Uh, that looked different. A, uh, a Wolverine item. Nice, I'll take that. And there's more flies. Damn you, flies! Oh, stop it! Right. So anyone back here? This camp might be empty, actually. Wouldn't surprise me if it is, but let's have a look in here. There might be a couple in here. Usually the army camps don't really spawn so many. So let's go ahead and break our way through here. Because I know there's some munitions boxes in here. Which I definitely want to look for, so let's go ahead and break our way through here, see what we can find. So one munitions box, what have we got in this one? This one has three shotgun slugs. Okay, well, that was that was the best loot ever. Um, great. Good uh, good start right there. Thanks uh, thanks for that. All right. Let's see. Oh, I'm out of gas here, aren't I? Okay, actually, I'll tell you what I can do is I can probably get some gas from... Please don't I have my uh, wrench on me. I do. Good. So we can actually take this tank apart. Uh, let's actually say this tank. Probably a mining helmet or something. Oh, no, we actually got a browning, uh, a browning part out of that. Okay. So usually I just... I tend to get mining helmets out of it, but... This is also a good uh, spot where we can get gunpowder. Electrical parts as well is always handy. And of course a bit of leather. As you can see though, these things have a huge pool of health. Like a really massive pool of health. And that sheep made me jump. But yeah, they have a, a giant pool of health which we're going to have to try and get through. But it should be fine. Plus we're getting... Uh, I need more electrical parts anyway for lights. So that's actually a really handy thing to have. And then I can kind of uh, fuel up my auger just enough to be able to get through here. Kind of what I wanted to do. There we go. There you go. Right, are there any army Zeds in here? There are no! No army Zeds, okay. There are actually no army Zeds here. Well, I was uh, that was kind of disappointing. I was really hoping we'd find some, just in case we would get uh, some cash. But there you go. One military thing. Okay, well this is this is like the worst thing ever. Right, let's let's go and continue taking this uh, taking this thing apart, shall we? Because we need to uh, we need to do that anyway. Let's go and do that. You can tell I'm still in build mode because I got my paintbrush in my hotbar. <laughs> so yeah, still, still in build mode, and now my character's getting hot. My character can never make up their mind whether they're too cold or too hot. But maybe we'll get into the browning part out of this as well, which would be really good. We'll we'll have to see. Um, I hear a zombie out there as well. Okay, it's not too bad. So let's see if we get anything special here. We might get a spare browning part or a sheave or something. Let's see. We got a headlight, and it looked like we did get a browning part out of that. We did. We got a uh, a barrel out of that. Very cool. Okay. That sheep is kind of freaking me out as well. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of freaking me out. Just because of the fact it's like stood right by this tank. But that's pretty cool, we found Nami base with a tank inside. I didn't even see that before as we've gone... We've gone past this place like loads of times, and I just didn't see it. But the good thing is as well, we're getting gunpowder like crazy out of this thing too. Electrical parts, mechanical parts. Yeah, lots, lots of good stuff here. We've already got 119 gunpowder, look at that. That is not bad at all. So let's go ahead and just keep going with this. 
And hopefully, once we hit the tanker pot, we'll have a, a good amount of gunpowder out of that. But we're getting two per thing, which is not bad, actually. That's pretty damn good. Well, two per most hits, and then one otherwise. Alright, so we're nearly through this thing. 293 health. 235. So yeah, we're doing like 60 damage per shot. It's not bad. There you go, and we got rid of it. And there's also another box over here. Let me go... Okay, now I can refuel this auger. Which is a good thing, so let's go do that. Oh, I'll tell you one thing I should do as well. Let me go and get these uh, munitions boxes for steel. Like that. And then I can repair this wrench. There you go. So we can repair the wrench, get some steel. There we go. So let's go and get the other one as well. There we go. We'll get that one too. Nice. Okay, so we got a bit of steel as well. Very cool. So there's not really that much in this place. Let's have a look in there. And in here we had nothing. Okay, well that was uh, definitely definitely the best army camp loot ever, as uh, as you guys can see. We definitely got some uh, amazing loot from that place. Well, kind of, I guess. Right, so now i got to kind of figure out a way into here. Right, let's, uh, okay, let's see if we can shoot out some of these mines. Let's get that one out. Wow. Didn't blow up? Okay. Wow, really? God. Okay, finally got that one. Right, let's see if we can get some of these mines out of the way. There we go, so we'll just shoot those guys. Blow those things up, and then we should have a pretty clear path to get inside here. Let's just make sure we get rid of these ones nearby. There we go, actually, let me back up here. Let me get rid of a few of these, because you know what I'm like? I will, I will go ahead and, you know, damage myself on them. Yeah, some of them, some of them take a few shots. Others don't, it just depends. Right, there we go, now you should be able to get inside. Right, and we're in the army base. Right, let's have a quick look in here. Cause there could be some, uh, there could be some army heads in here. You never know. I'm not seeing any yet, but you never know. There could be some around here. Hopefully, there are going to be some. I really hope there are. I'd suck if there's not. Um, okay, nothing really in the box. Really, there's none here. Where are all the army dudes? Like they, they should be. This place should be crawling with them. Oh, there's one there. There we go. Right, there we go. He's out. Right, finally we found one. Anything good in this guy? Hopefully. Uh, wow. Four paper clips. There's definitely some good loot there. Come on, so I can scrap those. Uh, we got an antibiotic here. I, I, actually, I'll tell you what. I will take the antibiotic to get rid of the flu. Right, there's one dude here. Right, let's get this guy out of the way. Right, let's run around this way. And kill you. And you had nothing on you either. Damn it! I was really hoping for some... I was really hoping for some good loot here, but... It doesn't look like we're going to get such luck. Let's have a look and see what we got here. Uh, nine more rounds. Okay. Again, not great. So a bit of steel out of that. Are there any other army dudes in here? Ah, this one. Right. This guy usually has a chance of giving us something, but he only had a tomahawk on him. Alright, so only a tomahawk on that dude. Um, oh, that bit is uh, painted over there. Ooh, I, uh, oh, is he going to blow up? I want to see. You going to blow up? Uh, no, he actually got through the landmines. Nice. Good job, dude. How's that? Uh, oh, and let's not get caught in the bubble wire ourselves. That'd be, a good, that'd be a, a good thing if we don't do that. Uh, okay, I think that's pretty much everything. All right, fine. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab these. Have a look in there. Oh, that was lucky I didn't do another one. That, that would have blown me up. The cool thing with the uh, with the auger as well is we can actually grab a lot of these um, a lot of these tent things just like just like that in one shot. It's really good actually for doing that. So now I can literally do that, do that, and look how much cloth I get, just from doing that. You get a heck of a lot of cloth from doing that. Right, so let me see. So yeah, it's probably going to run out at some point, but that doesn't matter. I can go ahead and salvage that for cloth. How much cloth did I get just from doing that? Well, I think I got over a stack. Just from, I did, look at that, a load of cloth. Very cool. So yeah, we can actually take some of this apart. I mean, some of this stuff for our city build isn't really going to matter so much, simply because, um, yeah, this, this is like, anything that's like grounded doesn't really matter for the city build, because we're not going to be using uh, grounded buildings. Okay, actually, we don't want to come out that way. Probably want to come out the way we came in, which was most likely over here. Alright. So, can I come out this way? Uh, okay, I'm surrounded by like three landmines here. Let me go over this bit. Okay, there we go. Now I can get out. Yay! Okay. Always makes me a, bit, a little bit nervous. Even, even if I've taken the landmines out, it still makes me a little bit nervous sometimes. Um, oh, hang on. I'm hearing another guy in here. This guy just trying to jump in the thing. 
There you go. Got him. Nice. I found a uh, man easy challenge as well. That's why I'm getting some uh, some bonus skills here. Okay. Well, that's pretty much the quest for... How much cotton did I actually get after all that, anyway? Uh, 79. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. And then we'll head back to base and start making some of these uh, office chairs. Right. I'm hearing a spider around here, so we're probably going to avoid... We'll avoid the spider. And let's go and grab those. Right, is there anything else, any more cotton around this area that I can just pick up real quick? Um, yes, I see some over here. So it seems that the cotton is actually like spawning in these ruined buildings for some weird reason. That's, re that's really odd, I don't I don't get that, but well. It's, it's cotton, so I'm not going to complain. But yeah, a lot of these buildings I'm going to uh, be renovating as well, so all these buildings that currently have like grounded bits will be taken out and then we'll kind of re be uh, rebuilding these uh these old things as well it's gonna be pretty cool um so yeah a lot of that will be uh, a lot of that will be done on the live stream but there'll be other things like for example taking out all this destroy stone um will be on the live stream you know bit, a lot of uh, a lot of cleanup jobs i should say is gonna be it's all gonna be live it's gonna be awesome though um right is that everything there i think that's pretty much all the cotton nearby us anyway so i'll have to go venture a little bit further out if we want to find more uh let me just check i don't have any spare okay some food is going off as well uh, I don't think I have any spare, do I? Oh, actually, actually, I have some gunpowder here. I'll take that up. And some spare leather, too. That's actually a good thing. Um, let me see. There is... And there's some spare ammo here that I should really be taking up. And this ACW needs a... Uh... So, oh! Hello. You snuck up on me. God, that made me jump. Right. Uh, any more else coming? No? Okay. I had, a, I had a feeling there was something like coming up at me. I was like, just as I was looking in this box, I, I heard like, I swear I heard like a tiny little noise and I looked around and there he is. I think I must have woken up a sleeper or something. Because yeah, he was definitely, uh, he was definitely after me coming my way. Man. All right, let me calm down a little bit. Oh, stupid Edgar. Right, let's go up here. So yeah, I actually made a ramp up here as well, so I could actually get my mini bike up inside here for a while, because um, that will make uh, doing the transporting um, a lot easier. Anyway, let's go ahead and put some, uh, some some of our spare resources away, and I can probably now make some of those office chairs as well, right? So there we go. So how many can we make? Um, can I make two? Um, oh wow, they take a lot of leather, don't they? Okay, they take forged iron as well. Okay, so I'll make as uh, I'll make as many of these as I can for now. Uh, office chair. What am I short on now? I am short on mechanical parts. Okay, I thought I, I thought I had more. Oh, I, pr I probably didn't take them off, did I? Okay, that's that's that. That will probably explain it. They're they're here. There we go. That explains it. There we go. Worry over. We're all good. Right. So I got some nails in here as well, which is great. So I should be able to make some more of these um some of these couches. Um, so let's go and do that. Leather couch. Here we go. Leather couch arm. Let's get a few corners. Let's get about ten corners. Um, how many more middle sections can I get? Eleven more. So that's doing... Yes, yeah, so I've only got 55 leather here. So yeah, we are actually running out of leather rather quickly. But there we go. We should... Um, well, what I might do is go out and hunt as well. Because that will give me more animal hides to then use for the leather as well. So that's fine. And then I'll get a couple of arms as well. So maybe six arms will do. And then one more uh, middle section. There we go. Um, these office chairs do take a while to craft though. So I will have to start um, sorting that out as well. Anyway... Um, I actually moved all my ammo up into separate boxes as well, um, just purely because we were getting so much, uh, we were getting so much of it from the traders as well. Uh, I mean, I will need all this ammo. And I, I will definitely be going through all this ammo, but yeah, we definitely need it. Let's go and put our, um, go put our Wolverine dude down as well. Um, let's put him down the bottom there. There you go. So we can, uh, he, he can, uh, he can sit there for a minute uh, while we go ahead and sort some stuff, and then we can go ahead and put the spare. Uh, gunpowder in there, and the spare 762 rounds in there. So as you can see, we've got a nice amount of ammo to take on the horde as well. Which well, is going to be really awesome once that is uh, once that's all done. And then we should be able to put the spare cotton just in here, and the spare iron and everything as well. There we go, that's all good. So that can sit in there. Fancy sort button, everything is good. Nice, and that should be all good. These guys can sit in there. So yeah, a bit of a uh, quick bit of sorting. Let me get that, uh, let me get that all done. Uh, headlight, that goes in there as well. Oil and cloth is going in there. And a, the uh, scrap plastics as well. It will go in there. So yeah, everything is pretty much organized in a nice way. I'm, I'm kind of happy with how this is all going so far. So that, and then wood can... Actually, wood I'll keep on me because I want to craft with that later. And uh, military fibers can go in my uh, box here so I can repair a tray with it. And those guys can go in there. And then 250 more cloth can sit in there. And then gas barrels I'm just trading away. I mean... They're, they're, they they can be ta they can be exchanged to gas cans, but they don't really give that much, and it's just worth trading them, to be fair. So yeah, these will be traded as well. Shotgun slugs I usually trade. There you go, and now the office chairs are all done, so they can sit in the uh, they can sit in decorations. 
and I guess we can go ahead and start working on the upper section. So, um, how are we doing on lights here? Let's go ahead and uh, finish off some of the lighting down here as well, just to get that, um, just to get that going. So, any spare lights down here, we can go ahead and do. So, let's go ahead and do this little section, and we'll add the rest of the lights in down here. So, let's go and finish this off. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't know if we'll finish it off completely, but hopefully, we'll get most of it done on this level. Hopefully, we'll have to see. I just hope I haven't made too many lights, but I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, so these guys can go in there. There we go. And that is that le level all done, I think. Yep, we're all done around that point. And I think what we'll end up doing is probably adding a... Uh, we'll probably end up adding a light into into here or something like that as well. So we might put... Yeah, we definitely want some lights in the stairwell. So we'll probably put one there and one there as well. There we go. And then we start on this upper section. So from here... We'll go ahead and start the four on this bit here. So we'll start putting these in the upper section. We'll keep the light pattern the same all the way through, I think. And hopefully that will be all good. All right, there we go. So we can do these. There you go. And then I'm running out of lights again. Cool. So yeah, we definitely need to do some uh, electrical part gathering. But yeah, this is the library so far, guys. So this is what we did in the uh, pretty much in the last episode. Um, I'm still thinking of how I can get these books in the wall but I think the uh, the red bookcases look pretty cool so I'm happy with that and then we'll uh, we'll work from there so oh excuse me I uh, had a little bit of a hiccup there there we go right so let's go and see what we got here so I got some couches here so I definitely want to make some kind of seating areas but I also want to make some kind of desks and tables and stuff as well to go up here because I think that would be really really nice so I'm actually going to see if we can make a let's actually first of all look at uh, a seating area I think actually this corner bit here is going to be a perfect start for a seating area right so we're going to go ahead and do we're going to go ahead and do one here so let's go ahead and do that here so let's go ahead and start with this and we're going to go ahead and do something like this. There we go. And then we can probably have a... We could probably have a corner one. Uh, yeah, we could probably have a couple of corner ones here as well. So we got the, uh, we got the arms coming out as well. That is awesome. So let's have a corner one right in there there we go that's looking good yeah that's looking that's that's looking rather nice so we'll have like um a bit like how they do it in some of the uh the pharmaceutical buildings and stuff like that we'll have a have a seating area a bit like that um actually i think what we'll do for here is we'll do it we'll do it coming out this way like that and then we'll bring it out to this little section here so yeah we can have a nice little corner section there and then we can put some arms on it and that'll look all good so let's go ahead and do a bit of a seating area here um actually coming out to this Character at this point might be pretty good, because um, that's a little bit, un a little bit on the uneven side. But then what we can do is we can do this, and then yes, yeah, so this can be like the uh, the reading, the reading corner. There we go. So we have like a reading corner over here, and then that arm can sit there, and then we can put the uh, we can put the arms on each pit on the end here. So let's go ahead and grab this. So yeah, big old uh, big old sofa going in here. There we go. That one can go there. And then that one can go there. And there we go. We now have the uh, the start of a reading corner. So we come in here. Very nice. We have a reading corner. I'll, I'll put some tables in here and stuff. And don't worry, these uh, these cracks in the floor will be fixed eventually. I know. I know some guys said, "Dude, you got cracks in the floor. They must be fixed." Don't worry, they will be fixed at some point. Right. Let's go ahead and get because um, this was originally going to be like the library counter area, but I think the best place to have that is going to be over here. And uh, the li the library counter should be over in this section. I think that would be that would probably be better. So uh, the next thing we're going to do then is uh, I guess we could actually start on the library counter area as well so let me get um some plates uh let me get let me get uh yeah we'll get some plates for this bit um so wood plates uh not play plate there we go um we don't want the loose walls plates uh let's get like 20 of those there we go 20 wood plates should do very nicely there we go and then we can go ahead and put these in like this let's see how we want to do this so i'm thinking we could have yeah, pro probably at this level, because then we can have stuff underneath it as well, which might look quite cool. Um, so thinking of having something like this, um, and then we can have something like this, and then this there'll be like a way in over this point as well, and then we can have something like this, and then this can come out all the way to over here, like that. So there's those plates uh, initially in like that, and then we could have something like this. So if we go ahead and rotate it, Okay, let me try this again. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. So we'll rotate it this way. Um, and then this can continue uh, around the wall here. And then we can start bringing them back this way as well. So how many more have I got here? I've got three. So then two, one, 
done. There we go. So we got some plates around this part of the wall, and then we can go ahead and get some poles, maybe. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So pole, uh, wood pole. There we go. We don't want the centered one. We just want these guys. Uh, let's get 12 of those. Hopefully that will be enough. Uh, we will see. Um, so the first pole is going to go into uh, this little bit here. Um, and then this one can actually probably continue up to the ceiling there. Just kind of uh, just kind of embellish it into the side there. And then we can go ahead and do uh, this one. Uh, this way. There we go. So then we can start putting poles into this section here. Like that, and that will come all the way around here. And then this could be like the uh, the main library desk, which will be... I think that'll look pretty cool. So then we can do this one. Come over this way. And... Oh, I still need more. Okay. Um, actually, do I want them that way? I mean, that looks that looks pretty cool. And then there's there's room here. But I think I want some room for something else as well, which won't be able to be done if we have the plates on the top. Hmm. That's going to be... It's going to be interesting. But let's, let's try this some more. So we get three... Let's get four, that should do. Hopefully that will do for the amount of poles we need. So let's go ahead and grab this guy and we'll put him in. Two, three. And this is kind of like the entrance uh, section here. So we'll actually have a pole there because then that can be like the entrance. So we'll, we'll paint it differently and we'll color it um, a little bit differently to see. So let's actually go ahead and get ourselves some of the, uh, the paint stuff. So we need to go into this one. Uh, nope, wrong one, this one. There we go, we need to go in that one, get some paint. We is good. Let's go up here. All right, so let's go ahead and paint this up. So let's pick a texture that's going to work here. So probably want some kind of wooden texture uh, with a skirting, if possible, would be nice. But I don't think there is. I don't think such a texture exists, unfortunately. So we could continue to use um, this part of the wall here to then make it look like the desk is built into part of the wall, which I think doesn't look too bad, actually. Oh, but then we've got the. Uh, then we have the problem though that this texture is uh, the wrong way, so it can't be. It can't be that texture then. Um, so we can't use that one. Let's try then. We need a. We need maybe a flat color. So maybe we can try. What color could we try? Well, it's kind of going with the dark theme. So maybe we could try a, a gray color. Nah, because it, it needs the skirting. To, the skirting makes it look really good. So maybe what I need to do is okay let me go and grab that maybe what i need to do is take out these and then uh put it the right way so that it will actually go the way i want it to so let's get the uh let's get the auger out i need some gas hang on i probably should just grab my fire axe that'll make it a lot easier let me go and grab that that's probably the best thing i can do so fire axe hopefully it's in one of these um no okay gas it is then <laughs> gas it is then um and let's go ahead and get some plates again so let's see if we can get these plates the right way around um so let's get another 12. But yeah, kind of like moulding up the shape, see how it's uh, see how it's looking. But yeah, the plates are a little bit weird because they have to be they're very specific in the way you place them. Because um, yeah, that just doesn't look good. We need the skirting on the ground like that because that looks really good. Having the skirting around like that is is looking very nice. I'm definitely liking that. So we need to continue that if we can. So um, let's go ahead and refuel this thing, and we'll get the plates in our hot bar as well. Let's do that, and then we can go and do this right. So. So we'll take these guys out. Right, there we go. And now we've taken those guys out, we can go ahead and try... We can go ahead and try different uh, configurations of the plates and see how they go. So if I do this... Because it's, it's not really possible to tell where the bottom of the block is. It just doesn't tell you. Right. So it wasn't that way. So maybe it's this way. Let's try that and then paint that with the skirting. Uh, no, so it's it's two extra rotations, so we got to go there, and I think that's the right way we've got to put it. So let's try this. I think this is now the right way. So if we now paint over that, let's see. Ah, there you go. Cool. Now it's the right way. So yeah, rotations, uh, rotations being a little bit of an issue there. So let's go ahead and take this guy out, and then put this guy in here. There we go. And then we'll paint over him. And that should solve it, hopefully. Yes, there we go, that solves it. That's better, so now we got a thing like that. Let's continue. Now, hopefully this is going to go the right way as well, if I paint there. Uh, well, that doesn't look too bad. Let's let's go a bit of a darker colour here, anyway. Um, I could use... Actually, I can just use drywall ceiling white here, right? And that would, uh, that would solve that little problem right there. There we go. So that bit is now done, and the drywall is in. So let's go and pick a, uh, a different colour for this pole here. 
Um, so let's see. We could use... There's wood painted. What does this look like? Let's have a little bit of a look. Um, wood painted. Doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks a little bit old, though. Um, so I don't really want that. Let's try something else. Maybe some... Maybe like a darker grey colour or something would uh, would look pretty nice here. Same same that matches this uh, part of the wall here. There we go. Oh, and I can already hear the lightning. So uh, Horde Knight, guys, is nearly upon us, it would seem. So yeah, actually, I think this dark colour would work pretty well. So we'll paint up there in uh, in the dark colour. Um, and that's looking pretty good. So let's paint up this side. There we go. And then on this side, we can go ahead and do um, a... A dark colour for the side of the plates, so you can do dark colours there, and then like a lighter colour on the top of it, which should hopefully look pretty good. Let's go and try this, see how it, uh, see how it looks. So these guys can all be dark, and then on the top, we can then choose the lighter grey, and then that should look pretty good for the uh, for the top of the container, or for the top of the uh, the top of the desk area. I think that'll look pretty cool. Yeah, light grey usually goes uh, very nicely together. Let's have a look and see. How does that look from the uh, from the front? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, we got a darker bit there, then it goes into a lighter section. That's good. And then all we've got to do is take care of the underside, which can probably just be in the uh, the darker colour. Unless there's, uh, unless there's some kind of wood texture we can use here. Maybe like some dark wood underneath here. Could be pretty good. Um... Yeah, there we go. Some dark, some darker coloured wood. So the the actual thing is made of wood, but it's just painted, right? So there we go. Put that under there, and then we can kind of paint under here. There we go. So that looks pretty good. And then under here is where we can like store things as well. So we can have some storage under here if we want to. Um, and overall, I think that's not too bad. So that's this little bit done. Uh, what we could do is get some. Uh, we can get some of those wooden desks here. Let's get a couple of those here. Um, and then these can sit under here as well, which would look pretty good, I think. So if we grab some of the wooden desks, so that's got a gap of two this side, um, and then there's another gap to that side. But yeah, the wooden desks can usually sit under there. I don't know, that doesn't that doesn't really look so good. I like, I like the wooden desks, but it doesn't really sit there. Um, there's a bit of a gap in between, which never really looks good. I mean, it would look good if it's all together like this. So if I put two desks together like this, that looks fine, because then we can have something in the middle of that, like a uh, like a, a storage box. So if I just go and type box here, we have a storage box in between that. Actually, yeah, we can uh, we can use storage boxes here. So we'll hide our storage in here, and that should be all good, because I think that's going to be awesome. So this, the uh, the night is slowly but surely dawning upon us. Uh, but there we go, we can have those in there, and then we can go ahead and add these. So yeah, then we have some room for storage underneath here, which looks good. And then we need one more here. So yeah, I think we'll use this for storage. There we go. So this this is like pretty much a storage solution, which is really cool. And then we just paint over that to whatever colour we like. So then if we come around here, we can go ahead and just paint these into anything we like. So let's see what colours there are. I could probably use the darker, probably like a lighter grey here again. Or maybe even the skirting. Let's have a look. See, that's the that's the wooden stuff, which I don't want. Um, let me just double check here. So we've got dark grey. Light grey usually goes okay. We could try light grey maybe, but we could even just keep the uh, we could even just keep the drywall uh, going around the edge there, which it it works, but it then doesn't look like it's a storage thing. I tell you what we could do. Maybe we could use these um, maybe we could use these uh, these cabinet doors around the back, because that's kind of the same colour then as the desks almost. So I think that looks okay. Yeah, we'll have we'll have some cabinets around the back there, and on the side we'll just have these uh, cabinet red sides, which then goes with the redwood and that overall. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, that's that's good. I like it. And then we can go ahead and kind of sort that out there uh, and paint that bit over there. Hmm. I wonder if this red texture would actually go well here as well. Let's see. No, I kind of like I kind of like the look at the top um, in the other color. So we'll actually take this uh, back and we'll use this. So yeah, Horde Knight is nearly here, guys. But that's going to be in the next episode. So there we go. That bit is now all done. So we now have a little bit here with the uh, we have some some desks. Let's actually get the uh, get some office chairs and put these up here as well. And then we have a little bit more work done on uh, Escibian's library, which is going to be really cool. So let's go and grab the office chairs. Let's get a couple of those, and we can go ahead and put these up here. All right. So we have a couple of office chairs here. So I have one. 
we'll have one like facing like this to that desk and then just like a regular a regular straight on one to that one there we go so we got a couple of office desks so this is where the uh this is where the people in the library would sit and you know you, you come return your books here and stuff that'd be awesome um and overall that's that's kind of meant that's kind of meshing pretty well together um i don't know if i i think i want that darker though that needs to be a darker color um so let's just get this right this needs to be a concrete gray i think and that needs to be a little bit darker there you go because that sits better with the skirting then um and then that looks like there is definitely something uh, something there, which uh, yeah, that's definitely looking better. Um, so I like I'm liking it. I'm liking it overall. That's looking uh, that's looking pretty switch if I do say so myself. So there we go. We now have a uh, a library desk over in this section. Um, and overall, that's that's looking uh, that's looking pretty cool. So you come up here and then you're straight in the library. And there you go. That's looking pretty swell. So I'm liking the look of that overall, and I think that is uh, pretty good overall. So the next thing we can do is probably get some. Uh, let's get some tables in here as well. Uh, while I'm uh, while I'm doing this, we can get some wooden tables. So iron tables don't actually take nails, but wooden tables are uh, just quicker to craft up overall. Because we need some kind of like study spaces, and I thought this area around the uh, around the side here could be a, a good uh, place for study spaces. We could add some more bookshelves on the top as well. It's gonna it's gonna be awesome, I think. Um, so let's go ahead and try this. So the study uh, study areas, we could have. So they're kind of all around like this. So what I was thinking we could do is we could have them, yeah, kind of coming from the uh, on the outside of these sections should work pretty well. So we'll have some over here, and we'll paint. We'll obviously paint these tables up to look uh, to look nicer. Um, so how many have I got? I've got six tables here, so that'll do for now, just so we can kind of uh, pioneer some ideas out. Um, let's get a couple of end tables as well, because um, they always look nice. And then we can have some chairs, uh, so wooden chair. So we'll get six of these for now, there we go. Let's get these end tables in. Um, so we can have probably a table in there, and then we can have one... Where can we have another one? Okay, I'm not sure where we'd have another one, so for now... Uh, oh yeah, we can get some ladders going up uh, these as well. So because sometimes you like climb up a stack of books with ladders, so we can definitely get that in as well. Let's uh, go and paint the uh, the tables though while we're waiting for this. So the sky is going red, and the time now is 1944. So you have a couple of hours before the horde, so that's not a problem. I'm pretty much ready for it anyway, I think. So we should be all good. So in terms of tabletop textures, we could probably use the we could even use rough cut wood. Maybe would look. Good. Okay, no, rough cut wood does not look good. Okay, forget the rough cut wood, that looks crap. Um, so that's like plywood, which again just doesn't look very nice. Uh, we have wood white, which again won't look that great. Uh, so rough cut wood. There's another type, there's like a plywood uh, style, isn't there, that we could maybe use. Uh, I think it's that one. Plywood? How does that look? Um, no, it's not the, not the right kind of wood that I want. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to we're probably gonna have to make a, a compromise here anyway. Um, so if that's not gonna work, wood old I don't really like. They need like a, a wood new would be would be pretty cool. That's wood siding, uh, wood siding. I guess we might just have to stick with redwood here, um, and stick with the uh, stick with the redwood tables um, to keep in it, it'll keep it in theme anyway. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll do that. That look that still looks nice, so I think we'll keep it as uh, we'll keep it as redwood. And then I just have to paint the legs of this stuff, um, and I think we'll choose a pure white texture for that one, or maybe maybe the grey actually. We'll choose we'll choose the grey for the legs here. So if I can paint those, there we go. So those can be in like a grey texture. Let's see how it's looking. That's not looking so bad. Let's go ahead and make sure we're getting the right bit. There you go. So those can be painted in grey. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure about the redwood on the top. Yeah, it do, it doesn't look. Um, well, actually, it looks kind of nice, but I don't know. It it seems like we can do better. How about barnwood? What does that look like on the top? Oh no, 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 no. That's that's just not good. Uh, barnwood doesn't work. Um, how about cabinet red top, as in a flat, um, as in a flat surface? See, that kind of looks like it's wood, but it's a different. Uh, it's a different shade of uh, of color. So that's always nice. I don't know. I mean, I kind of like the redwood shade. I wish there was like a different uh, kind of redwood with that same exact same shade of red, because I really do like redwood. I have to say, it's it's one of the nicest looking one of the nicest looking woods in the game, and I really do like it. But I think that will do for the study space. And the last thing we can do is go ahead and put some of the uh, some of the chairs down, and we should be all good. Uh, and then we have a little study area as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and put um, I might put them all like straight. I'll put them in, like a little bit a little bit haphazard. I don't think you can paint chairs though, unfortunately, so we'll have to just put these in. Uh, let's put a couple 
yeah, a couple of chairs like this. Uh, maybe one's kind of out to the side a little bit. There you go. And we we just like bear it up a little bit there. Um, so put one there, and then one little bit off kilter there. There we go. So then we got a couple of a uh, couple of study areas over here. Um, looking pretty good. I'm quite liking that actually. That's not too bad. So yeah, then we'll go ahead and probably continue that around this side as well, um, and we'll add some more. We'll probably add some more bookshelves on this side as well. So a lot more uh, expansion to do, but slowly but surely, this uh, this place is coming together rather nicely, and uh, I'm liking it. Um, I think we definitely need some more corner couches over here though. So let's go ahead and add. Let's go ahead and add a little bit over here. So I want not you, but you. So let's see. So this horde is uh, this horde is getting closer. What time is it now? Let me just double check. So it's 2021. So we're gonna have to end off the episode pretty soon, guys. So uh, let me just go ahead and put these last couches in the corner here. Um. Okay. So we can have maybe a bit of a smaller, a bit of a smaller area this time. Because last time we had quite we had quite a big one over there. So here we'll we'll have one. You'll know, have like a smaller one. And then what we can do is we can get a. Um, a bit like how the cracker book does it. How do they do it? They have like a um, a wedge, a wedge frame. Um, so let's go ahead and get a wedge frame. Two of those, because they do it in a in quite a nice little way here. They have a couple of wedge frames, um, and they kind of uh, they kind of separate this out like this. So they put a wedge frame there, and they put a wedge frame there, um, and that kind of separates out the uh, that kind of separates out the area. So let's upgrade that. Real quick, so this guy can upgrade, and that guy can upgrade as well. And then we can paint like a, a flat color on the top of that. So let's try the. Um, let's. Tr I don't know. Maybe the maybe the skirting would work on this as well. I don't know. That's probably the wrong way though, isn't it? Oh no, the skirting works that way. Does it work this way? Oh, it does. Okay, so the skirting works there. That's fine. So we can go ahead and do that, um, and then we can do that one. Uh, yep, that works as well. So we can. Go ahead and do that. Actually, probably want a darker, a darker color on here. So let's get a, um, let's get a dark gray there, a dark gray there, and then on the inside of that we can have two light grays, or maybe maybe actually a dark red. Maybe a dark red on the inside there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There we go. So we have a dark red on that side, a dark red on that side, and there we go. We now have a nice little, uh, a nice little seating area over here. I like how the skirting kind of follows down on that. That looks pretty interesting. Anyway, guys, I think we're at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the episode because I got a horde to go ahead and, and prepare for. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye.